maybe I have to watch the movie several times. I feel like I have to because uh, after a week I'm still thinking of some scenes which are not clear now or um, which just came to my mind now. And um, when colleagues asked me what the film is about, I was like, well, first I thought it's about an artist, a female artist. Then I thought it's a love story. And then I found out there are so many different layers. Would you tell me about the layers? Um, should you, you, <laughs> you said some, like a lot of it. It's, uh, first, it's a, it's a love story. It is about feeling in love, the confusion, the hesitation. It is about how love lives within in us. It's also about art, art collaboration. It's also about it's a politic of love, as Naomi says, like how the journey of love within us, and I don't know, it's there, there are a lot of sorority them. also. Yes, because it's not only love. Sorry, it's also friendship among women. Yeah, that would be like I would come and just um, destroy a bit the social hierarchy. Some kind of stuff like that. Yeah. What were your thoughts when you read the screenplay for the very first time? Well, I thought this is a good script. And I was right because it won the best screenplay in Cannes, so, you know. I felt like, <laughs> um, uh, no, I was very moved because I know Celine for a long time now and I knew she was like, well, she wanted us to work together again. So, so after three years of uh, teasing, I finally had the script and I was not disappointed. I thought it's very complex and simple and generous script. Um, I was like, um, oh, um, feeling so excited about all the details that were in the script already, all oh, the secret, the secrets, the little uh, um, treasure. Yeah, treasure that are are in the movie, and the way that it's a new vision, a new proposition of erotism, and that I really love that. I had to see some like <laughs> something else. <laughs> Ich bin hier, um sie zu malen. Das erklärt diese Blicke. Yeah, you did quite well. You both made really, and you did a really good job. Thanks. So, uh, I was wondering because when you're shooting a film, it's not chronologically, but yes. your your characters made a like a they developed. Mm -mm. Was it hard to switch from the cold person to the warm person and getting more, in, you know? Yeah. yeah, go back and... Uh, to me it was like, well first uh, I had the script, so I knew what was the, like all the scenes, I don't know what's the word of it, like there's all the summaries of the scene, like one after the other, so... Uh, shot list? Yeah, the shot list, so I had, I had this thing and I made periods in this, in this uh, development, so I knew even though we weren't shooting in the continuity, I knew that, okay, this scene belongs to that block, so I know that I'm supposed to act this way. So it creates this kind of continuity. But I had to uh, make it consciously, so so we can like have this feeling of uh, expansion in the character, in the relationship. And it was a challenge, but this is, the, this is what makes it even more uh, exciting. Hmm. What about you? It's kind of the the same. You you, pr you prepare your and and even the 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 lines is a, an appui is a. Oula, je sais pas quoi te dire. En, en allemand, c'est quoi? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Support. Yeah, uh, well, uh, the well, lines <laughs> and the the director and the script are uh, script. Is it the same? C'est parfait. Uh, the script uh, are support. So. Um, it's, well, yeah. What I liked about that is that I really love to act, you know, and I'm more like very um, 
expressive person and I was restraining myself for a long, long, long time in the movie because I'm the beginning, I'm supposed to be like very mysterious and very like cold. So I was happy, I was like, oh, once again I have to play this cold person. And I was so happy when, when we arrived to scenes where I was supposed to be more alive, you know, so I could play more. So it just doubled the, the pleasure of acting to me, I mean. Yeah, and as soon as we start to create together in the movie, I mean, to let you participate in this painting, uh we know that it's it's different our relation is different we, we really collaborate and play together and before it's more mm. i don't know it's distant uh, yeah <laughs> Wie ist der Titel? Porträt einer jungen Frau in Flammen. Celine just said uh, in, in the interview I did with her, um, you can't tell a love story when it's not over. You can tell, tell when a love story is not over. Yeah, you just ah, can't you tell have, a love oh, yeah. story when it's already over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you think about it? I think on peut parler d'une d'une histoire d'amour que quand elle est finie en fait. Oh. Uh, I think it's like there's some it has something to do with the conversion between life and poetry, in a way, what she says, because it's I think the film is about trying to tell the story that would say actually love is never over even if you know even if you were finishing with a particular relationship, it would have changed you for the rest of your life. And the echoes of love would just be with you all the time. And this is what I think the film is trying to portray as well. So this is all the question about Eurydice and you know, this kind of, this scene that I really love as well, when they are talking about the myth. Um, it's about what choice do you make, you know? And it's, there's kind of the choice of the poet when you, You choose to, you choose the echoes of love in your life and what not. I think love is also, I think love is a creation. So it's like when you do, when you create something, it's hard to talk about it while you're creating it. It's easier to talk about it when, you know, after. But I think it's something, even when it's created and over, It's still alive because it's some, yeah it's something alive. It's always in movement in your heart and in your brain. So it mo yeah it moves all the mm -hmm. time. Is it a movie for women or should like everybody watch it? What, what well, do you think? Why should like I think this movie has an important message, although it plays in the 18th century. Yeah, it's also political and very feminist. Yeah. Well, I hope it's for everyone, you know, because it's weird to say like, because what, like we as women, we are always watching this Avenger shit and this thing like there is only men in there. So, I mean, they could like pay attention to our it's like point of view. Yeah, yeah. Politely, uh, politely, <laughs> to say pol it politely, yes, I think it's for everyone. But uh, I, I know, I believe it's also very interesting. Because for us as women, we missed this kind of story. Like, re we really missed it because we always identificate to men. I mean, I'm, in bo I'm born in France. Uh, the first thing I read is Asterix, Tintin, Lucky Luke. Like, like, as a woman, it's difficult for you to identify yourself to someone else as a, than, than a man. So we, we know we are most of the time and we survive, you know. But uh, now I, I would recommend and I really hope That it's, I think it's very interesting for men. So they just, they just feel what women, the, the in the situation of women, and it's the fact that there's no men in the movie. It's not that we are not interested by them. We are just trying to propose an adventure that would say, let's not identify to a man for two hours. Let's just have the journey in a woman's life. And I think it's it's particularly relevant for men and necessary f necessary for women. Voilà. Welcome. But in the end, I mean, I'm, I'm done. But the movie was about, you know, it was like 
a man was the reason why you both got together and uh, he was the reason why you split. Yes. Yes, but yes. this is in the border of the movie. What you see is... Yeah, because in real life this is what it is, you know. We know. We are, we are as women, we are spread in the world. There's no, we are the only, like, oppressed people that would not be a pop population, you know, like, people from a particular nationality that would be oppressed, they live, among, they live together, so they can uh, rebel. As women, we are spread among couple in family, and our oppression is very, very uh, intricate with our love stories, our family stories. The patriarchy, that's the way it works, you know. So, so I would say, um, we know if we just regard the world that we are going to be turned into object again when once we are not together anymore. So, this also. This is also how it works. So we cannot, we don't make a happy end that would like reassure, the, uh, re, like uh, calm the world to say, no, don't worry, thank you for letting us be alive. You know, no, no, we are, you are not letting us alive enough. We are just saying it.